Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. We're going to continue where we left off here, and I think we're going to be doing the Battle of Guadalcanal next, so let's continue here. If you guys enjoy this series, do drop a like. told us Macon was a success, but it's hard leaving that place feeling good about all the guys who won't be going home. Our squad was due some R&R &R after the raid, but I guess someone upstairs has taken notice of our handiwork, so we're being diverted to Guadalcanal. The 1st Marine Division landed there a few weeks ago and secured an airfield the Japs were trying to finish. The jungle surrounding the strip is still up for grabs. So our first job is to solve that problem, and then we push the bastards right off the island. So Guadalcanal, this was this was Guadalcanal was really the U.S.'s first major land offensive in um in uh in the Pacific Front. Gunnery Sergeant Minoso, huh? Cut it out, Willie. Yeah, get off it already. That's right, Willie. You got a problem with that? Not a problem, Gunny. Just wondering why you. I mean, everyone knows that Tommy's the hero of the group. Quit stirring the pot, Willie. Or what about Jimmy? I mean, where would we be without the good doctor saving our hides all the time? Or hey, you know what? What about me? Remember that one guy in that tree get I potted? Clear! Exit fast! Stripes come from up high, you redneck. Oh, I know where they come from. I'm just making sure you're not pulling our legs is all. You know, like when you talk about how much the ladies love you. Oh, you're a cocky little son of a bitch. That boy with your crap since boot camp. Well, what's that? Yeah, I can't hear you, Gunny. It's kind of loud in here. Well, I guess we'll talk later then. So, okay, this is August 1942. Do you know what's actually going on at this exact same time? At this exact same time, you have the um, major battles going on in the North African theater, and at the same time, August 1942, the Germans are getting really close to Stalingrad. The, Stalin the Battle of Stalingrad is about to begin. The Stalingrad was the largest battle in human history, by the way. All that hardware we rode in with has to stay intact, so we're going to take the long way around to make sure the flank is secure. Nikki, I want you to scout ahead. Move quietly, but move fast. Go. Okay, boys. We're not far from the airfield, but this is still no man's land, so it ain't gonna be no walk in the park. Watch each other's backs and try not to get dead, all right? Let's do this. And, um, there's something I noticed about the medic here. Um... The medic, um, I'm just trying to look at his helmet here, but, um... Yeah, this looks like the older version of the Thompson, because the bolt is in the top. Okay. Where's that medic? Okay. So yeah, look at that. You see how he's covering up the the, the medic symbol, the red cross the on there. In place. You know why? That's um early on in the Pacific um uh, theater. A lot of American medics actually wore the red cross armband and it had it on their helmets, and it was basically to show the enemy that that was a medic because in warfare you were really not supposed to shoot medics. It would happen. Medics typically were unarmed in a lot of places, but the Pacific Front was different, where the Japanese in their training intentionally targeted medics. They did that on purpose. That's, you cannot do something like that. That's seen as ex one of the most dishonorable things that you can possibly do in, war in warfare, but they specifically did target American medics. And that's why American medics stopped wearing those armbands, and they actually did, did that to their helmet. They painted over it, and they started carrying guns specifically for that. Because when you, you, medics are typically supposed to, you know, pick up the wound and take them away from the fighting, you're not really supposed to shoot at them, but they, uh, the Japanese did not care about that rule. Uh, but, uh, there was one other theater in the war where medics actually were shot at as well. Do you know what, what other theater that was? That was the Eastern Front. Uh, on the Eastern Front, medics were actually shot by both sides. So the Soviets shot German medics, Germans shot Soviet medics. Uh, they did the ex uh, exact same thing on the Eastern Front. The Western Front, American medics and German medics typically did not shoot each other. Sometimes it did happen, uh, but it wasn't widespread use of it. It was, it happened on the Eastern Front, it was widespread, and it was also widespread on the Pacific Front. 
Natives? Nah, not that I can see. Okay. Tommy, take Willie in a boot and try and get around the left. The rest of you are with me. Go. I'm going! Hey. Let's go! Grenade that guy, Frank! I'm getting shot from right now. Yeah, I requested the medic here because I'm getting hurt. Great job, Raiders. Looks like the Japs are just gonna hand this island right over to us, huh? Consolidate and check ammo. Let's get to the airfield. So, um, uh, here's the thing about the Battle of Guadalcanal is when the Marines first landed on the island, they actually did not encounter that much resistance. The resistance didn't start piling up until they went deeper into the jungles. We found the airfield, eh, boys? This is a Japanese airfield they took over. What are you, Sergeant Minoso? Gunnery Sergeant. Pipe down, Willie. Yeah, that's me, Mac. Colonel Edson is waiting for you and your men over at the Pagoda. To hell with that! I'm out of here! Ash! Yes, get your ass back here!
Walk in the park, huh, guys? Everyone else okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good, I'm good. good. All right, we gotta take out that Artie. Let's move it. Hey, okay. yep. Still got alert supplies here. Okay. Run Thompson here for now. And this is the earlier version of the Thompson because you can see that the bolt is actually on the okay. top. Later like versions, the bolt was actually side. on the side. Let's stay on our toes. Come on. He says toss some pineapples, he needs grenades. Getting completely pinned down by these machine guns. Oh, the medics here. Okay, good. I'm down to three, Tommy. quickly before somebody gets on the machine gun again. I got no ammo left. Ooh. Okay, destroy that gun. Let's do it then. Over here, be careful. Oh, damn it. Nobody touch nothing. Oh, they booby trapped the place, Frank. No kidding. Tommy blowed his cannon. And let's get the hell out of here. Who yeah, knows what else they have waiting for us? Yeah, so he shouldn't have touched it. And the um, 
the thing about this, I'll also what I'll also say about this is um, this was very common. The Japanese would booby, booby trap a lot of their weapons, and what the Japanese would even do is when the Japanese launched bonsai charges, what they would do is they would actually sabotage their Arasaka rifles. So they would actually fill the rifle with gunpowder, maybe stuff the barrel with something else. And uh, what happened was when Marines would actually pick up their weapons after the bonsai charge and maybe like try to use them as target practice, fire some things for fun, maybe bring them home as like a collector's piece. If they loaded them and fired them, it would explode and kill them. I don't think it's known exactly how many Marines died from those booby trapped um, uh, Japanese weapons, but there had to have been some casualties from that. And that's why whenever you see like... If you, if in the United States, if you ever see like a, a Japanese rifle, an Arasako, if you ever see like a World War II rifle at a um, a gun shop, a lot of times, what people in my country, what they do is they ask people, they ask at the gun store, they ask the person, have you test fired this thing? Have you checked it? It's fine because Arasaka rifles are very collectible pieces, especially the ones that have the mums on them, and the mum is basically the crest of the imperial um, family. So the Japanese actually destroyed the, a lot of those crests after World War II because they knew that the Americans would capture a lot of the Arasaka rifles. It was believed that the because the crest belonged to the emperor, it was believed the r rifle was the emperor's property, and they didn't want the Americans to take that, so that's why they scribbled the, the Imperial Crest off, but some of those rifles are very big collector pieces, but there's also a big danger with them at the same time is is that they could have been booby-trapped from World War II, though. I haven't heard about anything like that happening in recent times, but that's why a lot of people are very cautious when, you know, touching any Japanese World War II weaponry, um, even today. Move up on them. Good thing I took the spring heal. Ooh, push. I'm moving up. Come in. Let me see. Let I me need see. a medic right now. Two bandages left. Be careful, man. Open the door. They're both. Hang in there, buddy. Let's push them. down. That's 
Lasso Flash! All right, I'm done. Stay with me, Marine. Yeah, health in this game is really rare. Um, Doc, fix okay. me up. Let's have a look. Tommy, I've got enough for one more wound. Okay, okay good to go. Tommy, we got a runner. Get him! Damn, he's gonna lead us into an ambush. I knew it. I knew it. Type 100s are getting a bit annoying. There's one. Let's move Let's push it. up on them. Let's go. Move up, boys. And you notice on the Springfield, you notice how similar the bolt looks? Doesn't it look very similar to a car 98? That's because the Springfield 1903 actually ca uh, copied the Mauser's action, so it actually is a Mauser bolt. Over here! I need some grenades. Oh, I got one. Where is he? Okay, let's have a look. It's my last them. bandage. The last one, Tommy. I'm gonna push them him. right now. Okay. I can't see him. Where'd he go? There's one. That's all of them. Check your weapons, we're moving on. Also, for people that want to know where Guadalcanal is, um, Guadalcanal is actually closer to Australia than it is to Japan. Not right next to Australia, but I believe it's a couple hundred miles north of Australia. I'm glad you guys finally showed up. We're hoping for a little more support, but you'll have to do. Actually, sir, we're just on our way back to Henderson. So... Ah, shoot, don't listen to him. What you got cooking? Well, there's been a lot of activity on the river here. We figured the Japs are getting ready to hit the airfield, and our scouts spotted a couple of them moving just a few- Look out! Oh. Yeah, let me use it. Ah. 
line as best we can, but tell the Colonel we need backup, all right? Roger that. Let's move! Let's get him! Try this gun out the, the M1 carbine. Let's go! Let's go, boys! I dropped the Thompson, I didn't even realize. Oh well, okay. What? Oh, I died. Hmm. Yeah. that grenade then. Really bad spot in the water, not much cover either. Very, very bad position right now. It's about time something went right today. Oh, yes.
can't see anything in there. Why he didn't heal me? Corman! Jimmy! Okay, let's have a look. Where am I being shot from right now? Okay, back into action. Give me cover. Crap. on them. Hold up, fellas. I gotta catch my breath. Okay, so we're now back at the airfield. I think we are, yep. guys were this close to getting it. The Japs have been probing this position for days. The Colonel's expecting you guys. He's over by the hangars. Okay, well, we're behind uh, Allied lines now, so we're, we're good. Never mind. Hold your fire! 
Whoa, whoa. He's a gunner. Keep it up, Marines. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Ooh. Shouldn't have pushed so much on that. Together, Regroup. squad. Let's get out of here. We gotta get back, yo. I need some health now. I'm down to three, Tommy. It missed the artery. You're okay. Look at They're moving up. Get it, boys. Together, squad. Here they come. Hang in there, buddy. Watch out. Three is definitely best right here in this situation. Crap! Whoa! 
Damn! I had barely any health, and I didn't have enough time to even count the gun. Man, that's just... Oh, yeah, this part's the hardest part of the mission so far. Here they come! Let me see! Let me see! They come now again.
pilots have taken off, but it's oh. Bonsai charge across the runway where? I need a Thompson, I need an automatic weapon or something. Yeah, I'm just constantly getting shot from every direction. This game is hard. Type of situation is trying to trying to figure out exactly which are yours. I mean, the Japanese wants the red sun, the sun on it, but it's hard. It's hard in a situation like this to make everyone out. No. 
now. Whoa! Yeah, this is the hardest mission so far. Ridiculous, it's like trying to find your guys in this battle.
down Zero's chasing Black Cat. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the Black Cat planes there. And those planes could also land in the water, by the way. We held the airfield, and named it Henderson, after a major we lost at Midway. All we can do now is hold the strip as best we can and wait for reinforcements. The Jap ships are shelling us at night, planes are picking us off during the day. An attack is coming soon, we can all feel it. We just don't know when. Colonel Edson put us up along a ridge to the south of Henderson. This is where he thinks the Japs will hit us. Man, I hope he's wrong. Whew. It's been a long time since I've seen a face like that. She's real pretty, man. Yeah. We're supposed to get married when I get back. I know I talk a big game about the ladies, Tom, but, um... All right. Listen up and listen good. I need you, man, focused on the here and now. We are all that stands between the Japanese and our brand new airfield. If they take it, we might as well pack our bags, boys. Our patrols have been running into increasing resistance, and we believe the attack will occur tonight right here. We have a series of defensive positions along these ridges. You men up front will hold your position until you have fired your last bullet. Only then should you fall back. If we find ourselves backed up to the artillery camp, well, then there is no more falling back. Now, all of you have brothers that are now dead. It will all be in vain if we lose Henderson. We will hold the line or die trying. A lot of night raids in Guadalcanal, so this is going to be um, a big raid. See the birds, how they, they move because they sense movement. Don't waste your ammo! Wait until they're closer! We need to defend the left side of the road! I'm gonna have to fire in burst to save as much ammo as I can here.
breaching the right to the right. The right. Oh, yeah, I see it. I've been trying to conserve ammo and it's still... Finally, an M1 Garand. this crap this is oh my god
We've got patrols starting to poke their heads out on our left flank. Let Parker have a look at you. Then get down there and make sure there's nothing big brewing. Clear the jungle of flanking forces, okay. Keep sharp. All these patrols can only mean one thing. There's a large force somewhere in this jungle. Oh, crap. How did I not see that? I don't like this. These are our guys. Move it! The jabs are right behind you! Server ammo on this. Okay. 
Oh god. The ridge, uh. Where's my ammo? Come on, let's go. Go. That was a good shot, okay. But yeah, remember what I said, um, what I said earlier, um, on the other parts, I said that Japan has, is the toughest enemy the U.S. has ever fought in its history because of the fact that the Japanese just did not want to surrender and were going to fight till the very end. They believe that surrender was worse than death in their culture, that's why I, yeah, this, it's just, when the Jap, the Japanese are just getting wiped out and they just keep charging and charging and charging and this, this stuff actually happened. When you're fighting an enemy that is not scared of death at all, that is the scariest enemy that you can fight. Yeah, they're bringing up mortars.
crap, I need help now. Planes. Okay, thank God. Yes! gave us a ride, and the army will guard the land we took. As Marines, your fortitude was put to the test this evening, and this godforsaken hill is a testament to your fighting spirit. Someday you will tell your sons how you fought with courage at a place called Bloody Ridge. Boys, it has been an honor to fight alongside you tonight. Now let's tend to the wounded and collect our dead. God bless the Corps. Carry on. Conlon, I am recommending you get the Silver Star for this one. Simply amazing job out there. All of you. Since the Battle at Bloody Ridge, life has become a seemingly endless patrol. Day after night, our squad's in the jungle, searching for bunkers, command centers, and taking out artillery emplacements. I think some of the guys are really starting to feel the toll of all this. The long nights battling back the Japs. Lack of food. Jungle sickness we all get at one point or another. We sure don't feel like heroes. Just feel lucky to be alive at this point. You never know when your number's gonna be called. That was a Jap rifle if I've ever heard one. Conlon, you and Gaines go scout the right fork of the river. Make sure our flank will be clear when we move past. Gonna need you guys to run light, so toss me your Thompson, Conlon. If you see anything, get back here ASAP. Got it? Sergeant! Oh. Poor bastard. Nobody touch him. He may be booby trapped. Exactly. Yup. They booby trapped oh, even our own on. bodies. Yup. That happened too. Out the right fork of the river. Get 
your glasses. See anything? One guy. Nope. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, we eight. Gotta warn the cat, Tommy. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep. Tommy? You hear that? Let's see what we got here. Tommy, see if you can make it to that machine gun. I'll watch your back. If I get on that machine gun, this is gonna be good. The idiots. The idiots. They all got in front of their machine gun and left it unattended. The Japanese have a Lewis gun here. This is not entirely unrealistic. They could have the the British used the Lewis gun in World War II. Still, the Japanese could have uh, captured that and brought it to Guadalcanal. It's not entirely um. Uh, a fictional. Hey, there's Willie and Tommy. There's a whole bunch of those buggers headed our way. I think they know we're coming. All right, boys. Let's get a defensive perimeter set up down river. Come on, here's your weapons. Looks like you're gonna need them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about now. Okay. Ready? A little closer. Now! Go! 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 Let's go! Let's Hold go! Well, save your ammo! That's it! Avoid detection by munitions squad and acquire portable MG. Move up! I'm going! I can't see him! Here they come!
There we go. Probably go back to my squad and get some heals before we move up anymore. What are they doing all the way back here? Patch me up, Doc. You're gonna make it. I got a few more, and I'm out, buddy. All right, I'm done. Oh crap. Wondering where they were. One, Tom. Oh, save your ammo. That's it. That's all of them. I don't know that. Rally up. Don't talk to me. I like how the river is actually carrying the bodies. How much farther we gotta go, Frank? I do love the music in these games.
traverse the swamp. Hey. I don't like the look of this. It could be anywhere. Thompson ammo. Rally! There's the village out there. We gotta sweep him out. Let's go. Yeah, the Thompson with the round drum is probably the best gun in the game. There's one! Watch your ammo! There's one! I can't see him! Where'd he go?
Damn, where were my teammates? Uh... Yeah, those machine guns would just rip you to shreds. There's the village up ahead. We gotta sweep them out. Let's go. Clear? Oh, save your ammo. That's it. I think we're clear. Okay. Move up then. Massive fuel and ammo dump here. Use one of your satchel charges. Retreat! Come on, yo! Destroy the ammo. Go, go, go! Okay. Uh, okay. Eliminate remaining Japanese patrols. Damn. 
Ah! Damn, where's the medic? Why is the medic so far away? Let's go, boys! Okay, let's have a look. Okay, he's here now, but I, I don't know why he was so far away before. That should do it. Hang in there. Can you hear me? Be careful, it could be a... How many of you are there? Where's your command post? Ah, useless. All right, men, quit your gawking. Their base has to be somewhere nearby. From the Lunga River, we're moving west towards a small village where Sarge figures the Japs are hunkered down, waiting to smack us in the mouth. We've been up in these valleys for days now, and I don't think any of the boys have gotten a wink of sleep. I'm starting to wonder what's gonna kill me first, the Japs or the jungle. Eyes and ears on me. Beyond those hills, the Japs have a village where they've holed up a bunch of artillery. Guns they're using to pound the crap out of our new airstrip. Now, we all know that this ain't gonna be no cakewalk. It's their last stand, and I'm not expecting these Japs to give up without a hell of a fight. We're in the ass end of the world, boys, and I don't feel like writing letters to your folks, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. You get me? I hear you. Oh, and notice how the Marines also, you see how the... Let's move out. You see how the chin straps, uh, how they don't have the straps on their helmets? That's actually realistic. Uh, they actually didn't in both uh, theaters of the war in World War in World War Two in Europe, and also in um in uh in the Pacific. Why? Because those helmets were a lot heavier uh, than they are today, uh, and so they were scared that if they got blown back by like something like an explosion, artillery, and they got thrown back, that the blast that it would actually uh, strangle them, that it would actually snap their necks. That's what they were actually scared of happening. This is the Browning Auto A5, the same shotgun in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the Browning Auto A5, the most successful um, uh, semi-auto shotgun in history. Most produced semi-auto shotgun in history, I should probably say.
God, buddy! Oh, save your ammo! That's it! The village is... Also, about the Browning Auto 8, um... The Browning, um... The Browning A5. What am I calling Browning Auto A5? It's an A for auto, but... About the Browning Auto 5s. Uh, uh, these weren't actually issued, really, in World War II, but they were used in World War II. Why? Soldiers brought over Let's their go. own, uh, semi-auto shotguns oftentimes. Hang in there, buddy! Oh, crap. Sir, get a grenade on that Take guy! Out, pal. Oh, man down! Okay, back into action. There's one! I'm under fire! That should do it! Have a look. Okay, clear. And you notice how you can't reload the M1 Garand unless all the rounds are out because the M1 Garand can only be loaded through a clip. It can't be loaded single. It can only be loaded single if you put a single round into a clip. I guess that would be the only way it would work. like a sniper rifle that he had up there. Go, go. Go. The M97, so... This was a, uh, a prototype uh, sniper rifle that the Japanese made. This rifle was designed specifically to be a sniper rifle, and basically, this rifle was designed with very little to no muzzle flash. Most people think that snipers from movies, they see the glint of the other sniper's scope, but no, most of the time they see the muzzle flash. That's how they find the other snipers. Getting hit. Great shot, Will. Move up. Come on, let's go. I'm moving up. Move up. Open fire. They're falling back. They're retreating. Let's get them. They're retreating. Got one. No, I'm gonna have nowhere near the medic too, this is bad.
they shooting? I don't... Not gonna fall for that again. Keep your heads down, guys. I'm running low on bandages. Jimmy. Hang in there. Stay with me, Marine. Yeah, I definitely need those heals right now. I'm down to three, Tommy. Went straight through. You'll be fine. Sniper up and make it count though.
help right now. I'm under fire! Easy now, let me see. Two bandages left. Get him, boys. Careful, man. Jungle of Japanese forces. Let's go. Push on him. I'm going. Come on, yo. Where was he falling back to up there? Is up here. Cave complex. Okay, well, we did get more ammo for the sniper rifle, that's at least good. Let me see. Let me see. Getting ambushed by those cliff snipers. I got one more in my bag, so be careful, pal. All right, I'm done. Gun and watch me machine gun. Last one, Tommy. Get that jab. Okay, Heads up. Back one in the action. tower. I lost him. Up in the tower, y'all. I see him up there, Tom. Again. Where go? Come on, I can't. Oh, I Heads can't up. even get a shot. Jam. 
Yeah, there's this. This this position trying to get through on this. This is just best thing to do is probably gonna be to push them as quickly as possible because those machine guns are just ripping you up. You can't even do anything but to get through the machine guns. Now we push them. Okay, good. Ooh. This'll have to hold you for now. Stay with me, Marine. Man, my dogs are barking. Give me a second here. Final resistance left in Water Canal. Enemies 
spotted! Yes. Power. I 
Oh, damn. There, see the guns. Oh, another grenade. Now we got it. We've been the entire, you know, most of the battle we're beginning. We've been getting overrun, but now we're finally pushing them back. Oh no. Let me see. Let me see. And they're just spamming grenades right now. me grenade right when it was on my feet.
Here we go. survivors and then get the hell out of here. You did a heck of a job, Tommy. Willie. You too, Frank. Yeah, same to you, fellas. Hey, Jimmy. You all right? Yeah, just another day in paradise. Let's head back to Henderson. I'll be glad to know this rock now belongs to the Marines. Hey, you know, it could be worse, Doc. He could be in the Army. Have to clean up all this mess. <laughs> yeah, so this battle was just so much harder than, uh, than Macon. Once we secured Guadalcanal, the brass saw fit to give us a little R&R &R with the Flyboys. They're good guys. I'd tag along on recon trips and even got me a little stick time over the Big Blue. Man, I am gonna miss this place. But vacation's over. We're supposed to rendezvous with the Allied fleet and join the 2nd Marines for an assault on some place called Tarawa. Hey, Willie, you've done your share for old glory. Era was really you brutal battle later happened in the Pacific. Ah, I'd want to take your sister out I think Tara was 1943. <laughs> you hear that one, Tommy? Gotta get our heads back in the game now. We keep finding ourselves talking more and more about home. What about you, Frank? Me? A shower. A long, hot shower. Now that I can appreciate. With your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you better hope I don't catch you, Sullivan. <laughs> Hell, at least we're going in style. Nothing beats a ride in a darkness. Oh, plane mission. Ah, you're kidding me. What's wrong, Captain? Over! The skinny one just puked in my bird. <laughs> All right, Willie. Way to go. <laughs> he never been in a plane before? Over! What the hell? He's never been anywhere before. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, Captain, but I see planes on the horizon 11 o'clock low. Over. Yeah, I see him. I'll check with control. It's probably our escort. Stand by. Over. Pair off. Weapons hot and engaged, boys. Ah, crap. They ain't friendly, Tommy. Hit that pedal by your foot and get that gun ready. But imagine getting run, shot get down over tail, the Pacific right? Ocean. Imagine how horrible that would be. With just nowhere to go. Uh, okay. Fight off bandits. Okay.
So Zero's the Japanese main fighter. Um, they, the Zeros, they, uh, they had very little to no armor. That's why they were so fast. But once you hit them, they were pretty much done. It just... It, it crashed into me. A after I... I literally... I blew it up and it crashed into us. Definitely has good range though.
this is not easy to fly this thing. Another one down. Another one down. Looks like there's two left. Right there. All right, sky's clear. Everyone, follow the formation on my lead. Pete, radio hitters to the left. Get our cat looking for Danny. Over. Roger that. Okay. Press W, hold W then. There's the island. They probably got an airfield on there. Destroy Lagoon targets. 
Get in for a run here. We still got hardware in the lagoon. Looks like a couple chains in Amtrak. Over. Roger that. Got here. Boats. We got planes also, water seaplanes in the water too. Very impressed they actually have a plane mission in this game. I didn't think it'd be a plane mission. Shorts, but I'm still here. Over. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Willie, you good back there? Well, I ain't no natural fighter ace like Tommy Boy, but yeah, I'm good. Over. Okay, let's cut the chatter. Our fleet's up ahead and we gotta get Tommy ready to land this bird. I'll talk you through it, kid. Don't worry. Over. Captain, I just heard from the Independence. PBY spotted Danny and is picking him up. Ah, that's great. Over. Yeah, but... Weird thing is, they say they don't have visual on us. Over. Come on, Pete. How can we see them when they can't see us? Over. That's what bothers me. There's only one reason. Over. You gotta be kidding me. You wanna skin out, Cap? Over. Hey, hey, what the hell's going on? All right, listen. That isn't our fleet up ahead. It's a Jap carrier destroyer. Now, we can't run because they've already seen us, and we'll only lead them to our ships. We don't have a choice. We just gotta give them hell, boys. We'll hit the carrier first, put a hole in the deck, and keep their zeros grounded. Yeah, it's a good idea. Fly Sink the carrier feet. first. Keep those fighters off Prevent us. the fighters Roger from taking that. off. Roger, Captain. Unlock ordinance. We're gonna need everything we've got. Tommy, you got four bombs and a fish, so use them wisely. God be with you guys. Over. Snap the lock bombs. Switch between torpedoes and bombs. There's the carrier. That's the button to, um, to drop them. Okay, I was trying to figure out what the button was. Okay, not gonna waste any more. There we go, looks like we blew up the bridge.
problem. What was the button to, um... See what what is the button to change to the weapon? It's those, but I'm not. Oh, torpedoes already equipped, okay. Okay, I didn't even realize torpedoes already equipped. It crashed into me. Ah, oh, that sucks. It it literally crashed into me. Tommy, let's clear that deck and take out the bridge.
There we go. Now we're gonna sink the carrier quickly here. Oh, this is gonna be good, let's see. going. Isn't it um, uh, amazing how a, uh, a small plane like this, with just the right torpedo, can sink a massive ship like that? I can have to land this thing. I really hope I don't mess up the landing. Guys, you see me coming at you? Over. Yeah, we see you, Mikey. Thought you was out of fuel. What the hell you doing? Over. I got a jet on my tail. I'm flying on fumes and my gunner's hitting. He's passed out. I'm coming head on with one of you. When I pull up, you take him out! Over! I hear you, Mike! Just bring him to us, buddy. You got him? The kid got him, Mikey. You're clear, over. 
save Frank from Japanese Man, Zero here a moment. I got it. Listen, Frank did pretty good. I gotta land. Over. All right, let me get Tommy landed first. He doesn't know better, but he's just about out of gas, too. Then you're up. Carla, listen to me. I want you to line yourself up with the deck. When you're close to it, throttle back and just try to glide her in. You're only gonna get one shot at this, but you can do it. Over. Oh man, it's gonna be a little tough. That's it, kid. Keep it steady. You can do it, Tommy. Throttle back. Slow her down. tell you, any landing you walk away from, well, it's a good one. <laughs> Over and out. And Tony Romano. Okay, so that's the end of Guadalcanal. So basically every mission I, um, the missions are very long in this game. It's a three-hour mission, I think. So, um, 730 enemies killed. Wow. I hope you guys like the plane mission. Well, anyways, um, I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, do drop a like. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.